I'd like to welcome Rachel Jason to the channel today. She's a health food specialist. Hi. Rachel, what is that? Basically, a health food specialist is someone who teaches people how to eat properly again in a world filled with so much convenience and people have no clue, you know, to knowing what's good for them. So it, where I come in in our practice is I actually go back to grassroots teaching people how to cook from scratch and what to cook that's really healthy and beneficial for them. That's a practice you share with, with your partner Ian Craig? Correct, yeah. Right, and you wrote an article for us a while back called Soil to Plate, which we'll put on, on the channel as well. Mm -hmm. What was your inspiration behind this article? It was to alert people of the dangers and the toxins in food. Um, I think toxins are creeping closer into health foods that we weren't expecting to find. In other words, if you go out and you buy a pallet of seedless grapes, you'll probably find 99.9% .9 of the time that those grapes have sulfur dioxide on the label. So when you're thinking you're buying health produce and you, you're assuming that it's clean and toxic free, because in the past, healthy foods didn't have to have labels. Fresh, we're talking fresh stuff you pull out of the earth. It didn't have to have a label on it because a pawpaw was a pawpaw was a pawpaw. Um, now, there's been regulations that have come in in the labeling law where they actually, if they've added something over and above pulling a, a bunch of grapes off a vine, they need, to, they need to include that in their packaging. So you will find it doesn't happen with seeded grapes for some reason, but definitely the, the seedless version. Um, I think 99.9% .9 of them, if you, if you purchase the punnets, you'll find sulfur dioxide written on the, on the back of the label. Right. Weren't all grapes seeded? Isn't, if you find a seedless grape, doesn't that automatically mean that it's been genetically modified? I'm not that au fait with regards to the genetically modifying of stuff. It's That's a very an interesting touchy consideration to have. It's an incredibly touchy subject. Mm. There, there are very little laws around labeling even mm -hmm. on that, um, so you don't see genetically modified grape. We're not allowed to know about it. Mm. Um, my personal opinion, how does something grow without a seed? Mm. How do you create something without a seed? It would have had to have started somehow. Sure. So it's been tampered with for sure. Um, the same with watermelons. You get seedless watermelons now. There are many, many products you can buy seedless nachis um, that have been that have you know had human intervention. So mm -hmm. we've got to really be careful on what we what we're consuming these days. So soil to plate is not just talking about the health of soil, but it's actually educating people to read labels. Absolutely, and one of our prominent, um, well at least my prominent messages, is to, if you cannot pronounce it, <laughs> do not buy it. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's, if, you, if you can't pronounce it, you don't know what it is. Mm. And obviously that means it's, it's something, normally it means it's something that it's, it's, it's human intervened. What we encourage is we encourage to eat foods that have been pulled from the earth, that animals that have been roamed on the earth or fishes that have swum in the sea, preferably not farmed, you know, so mm. wild caught, organically grown or naturally grown. I mean, some small farms can't afford to be organic, um, but they certainly follow. There's a PGS system, which is a patisserie potisser, um, guarantee system, mm -hmm. where they have other neighboring farms and um, they have a, a group of individuals that come and assess the farm to see that they're not using pesticides and toxic chemicals on their, on their produce. Mm -hmm. Um, and that keeps the farm up to standard, and that farm never wants to be caught. You know, they want to always be supported. Sure. So they have this, they have this um, umbrella looking out for them. That if they if they do step out of line, they're going to get into trouble. No one's going to support their farm anymore. So we really want. It doesn't matter if it's not organic. If it's naturally grown and it's free of pesticides and herbicides and all agrochemicals, then we're looking at a good a good a good product. Yeah. So I think. I cannot stress more how important it is to read labels. I mean, if the label, uh, we also use the rule where you've, if nothing more than eight to ten mm. words on the label that sure. you know, anything more than that is too much. It doesn't take, you know, it's, it takes it away from its natural form. Mm. And we don't want that. We don't want to have an overly processed product in the end sure. where they have to do so much more to it, you know, to create it, to come mm. back to life. So, for an example, something like a, a cornflake or, a, you know, a cereal, any, any cereal um, breakfast. 
they have taken that bit of corn and they've absolutely annihilated it. Mm -hmm. They've taken that grain and absolutely killed it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely killed it to such a form where they've had to introduce vitamins and minerals and fiber and, and not obviously sugar. Sugar. and charge exactly. more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and I hate to tell it to you, but the box costs more than the product itself. Yeah, I heard a study that they did where rats fed better eating the box than the inside. <laughs> It's crazy, yeah. that's absolutely crazy. Mm. But really, the box is more expensive than the product itself. So my, my point here is that you, you, you're removing something so far from its natural mm. form, and you kill it. You know, that it's no longer a live entity, it's no longer live food. It's no longer food. Sure. You could hardly call it food, and then they dump a heap amount of sugar in it to give it any form of decent mm. taste. And then they, they're selling this to kids. And your body must thrive on that. Absolutely. In the morning, at the start of yes. the morning, where breakfast is supposed to be yes. the most important meal of the day, and it's supposed to carry you through the day as well. Yeah. Hot an hour late and you're hungry. Please read this article, Soul to Plate. It was a pleasure editing it. And uh, really well done. Good work. Oh, great. I just hope that people really do get out there and really do stop. We can't stress the importance of reading labels, pronouncing the foods, and keeping things as as you know, as natural in the naturalist form as possible without being heard. Something like maize meal, you'd think is, you know, people assume is a healthy food. Again, it's completely lifeless. It, it, the nutrition has been stripped because of the heating process and what they've done to that grain. So plus, they've definitely genetically modified. Absolutely, I mean, hands down. Yeah, hands down. And then you can talk about packaging, which is a whole other topic. Absolutely, that's yeah. not you know a natural way of finding yeah. food. And certain retail outlets really overpackage. It's annoying. And to and to make the effort, just make the effort out there. Just go out there and look for stuff. Look for healthy, non-packaged items. You know, go go to your organic stores. Mm. Your naturally grown stores. Support your local farmer. Absolutely, good. the more you support them, the more produce they bring in. And the more, the better you know where your food comes from. Absolutely. Um, again, with your meats, your meats, you want your grass-fed, pasture-reared meats. Um, the hormone toxicity and antibiotics found in meats and dairy and eggs. I mean, it's crazy. What you find in fish. Oh, fish. What are they doing to our fish? They fi they're feeding grain to our fish, our farmed fish. I mean, this is this is a big problem. They're having to, to they're having to um, put dies into salmon because our salmon is the farm salmon is not eating crabs and crustaceans that gives the pink mm. flesh and because they're not eating it they're injecting dyes this is the stuff is that salmon really healthy to be actually consuming nowadays sure i don't think so passionate right shall everybody <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us you're welcome i'll definitely have you back stay healthy thank you